Welcome to Great Talk and Entertainment. I'm your host, KJ, and this is the podcast where we review movies and TV shows from all your favorite superheroes, including Marvel Comics and DC Comics and much more. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Great Talk and Entertainment official channel. Let's go, baby! Now, as we continue on on the new series for HBO Max, The Last of Us, this is the episode 4 review, and of course, this is a spoiler. So, if you have not seen the show, please pause this, hit the thumbs up button, because that would definitely help my channel grow and get through the YouTube algorithm so more people can see my content. So, that would definitely, 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 definitely be appreciated. Watch all the episodes, then come back and check out all my spoiler reviews, including this one. And definitely leave comments and tell me, guys, how you feel about the show or each episode or how you're feeling comparing it to the video game to this. So I definitely want to know. So, again, this is a spoiler. You've been warned. Let's go. Episode 4 took us on a different storytelling. This did give us a good action scene. And more characters being introduced to us. The duration is spent developing Joel and Ellie's relationship. And the pace of this seems slow. But it justifies to watch these two bond. As you see Joel has shown more of a softer side to Ellie. They showed us that after Ellie shot someone to save Joel. uh, They just show how... Joel was there for her to comfort her and even offered her to just talk about it because this was something that Joel's been trying to protect Ellie from to be in a situation and put in a position like that but we learn that Ellie um that Ellie explains to Joel that this is not her first time so obviously they did not get more into it they're saving that for later in future episodes of course so and then you also see how more cheerful these two are around each other even ellie was reading these uh these pun jokes out of a book and and you see joel finally uh getting into it and it it just had a really cool moment to it because obviously just like the video game These two do grow a good bond of friendship. Another thing, uh, as far as to when it comes to the video game, there are plenty of scenes of like the background and how the cities are. It's it's just like the video game. So it definitely has that. And from what I've been told, there's the characters that were shown in this episode are actually in the video game. So that's pretty cool and I'm glad that they have done that for the uh, video game fans of The Last of Us Part 1 and Part 2 uh, We now they're in Kansas City they're trapped there of a society of people who run this place very differently now this is kind of like they're just showing us that even though there's people who are affected by the fungus and acting really crazy this is is showing that that the people who are not who are not infected yet are more dangerous because how the world is now since this fungus has taken over so much people's lives and uh, killed their version of what's normal and these people are very strict these people are very crazy paranoid you see that some people are just looking for a leader because they just don't know what to do and you see how people were just willing to jump Joel and Ellie for a car or some weapons or whatever food that they may have and it just shows you the the difference of that it also just shows you that when they were trying to drive through you see cars and trucks and semi trucks just all over the place of the highway making it very difficult maybe even blocked on purpose but it definitely had a very darker tone to it and it did um leave us on a cliffhanger but again this was a very dark and gritty 
and it was really awesome i really like this episode a lot because now uh just the idea of seeing these two now seeing a, a friendship and now want to protect one another and now it, it's really now from now from episode four to the last episode of this season it's them against the world pretty much so definitely cool so um let's just get in some uh topics um joel's younger brother tommy so apparently there is a group called a fighter flies and this seems like a darker time for joel because ellie is asking like why would somebody pretend that they need help and then just jump you and he explains to her why they would do that because he has also have done that and it's just for survival it's not a proud moment that he would be proud of but at the time he was one of he was just like that guy and the group of other people who try to mug him and take everything they have but it's very dangerous now and obviously Joel has has a change of heart so maybe in episode 5 they'll have a flashback maybe who knows but uh and when I think about uh, the younger brother, Tommy, I think Tommy is going to be the opposite of Joel, like good versus evil, yin and yang. And uh, I think that Tommy's going to be more ruthless, more aggressive. I think he's going to be more savage. And I also think that he's going to be the one who's going to kidnap Ellie and use her for a different future, a better version of what he thinks compared to what Joel is thinking of right now so I think it's going to be good versus evil type thing and it's going to be very personal obviously they're brothers so it's family against family so that's what I think um let's talk about Kathleen uh so this is played by Melina uh Lewinsky uh she is in the series Yellow Jacket uh, so I, you know, I never watched that show, but I heard that she's really good and she's one of the fan favorites on that series. And I believe it's on Paramount Plus. If I'm wrong, please correct me. <laughs> um, but this character, uh, Kathleen, she looks like a a confused leader. She looks like she can't. She's put it on a front, and she's scared to death because she shows any weakness or has shown any like false leadership that these people are going to turn on her like all even the guy that's like like her right hand man he's going to turn on her like she's scared or deaf and it all has to do with this uh, character named Henry now Henry I haven't talked to anybody about it but uh because again, I never play the video game, so I'm just gonna go out by this. So I apologize if you know who Henry is. Please let everybody know in the comments below, because this is a spoiler review. So feel free to spoil it, because it's already been out there. So <laughs> uh, what I think about Henry, though, I think Henry is. I don't think Henry's the two is the guy and the and the little boy. At the end of the show, I think Henry is a completely different person. I think Henry is a runaway, and I don't think I think he's hiding, still hiding. I I don't think he's gone that far out, but I think he is the actual leader. Um, could he be her brother or a lover? I don't know, but it seems like Henry is a very important person to this uh, Kathleen. So. Uh, and then, and then we just talk about the the cliffhanger. Um, you see that there's guns pointed at Joel and Ellie. Um, I think that uh, I think that these two are going to become allies. Uh, that I think there's going to be a team up. I think, you know, they're just trying to watch, look for, watch each other's back. You know, this uh, older man, this older man's protecting this little boy. Just like Joel's trying to protect uh, Ellie. And I think it's the same dynamic. Uh, just have different motives, pretty much. So, that's what I think. 
But I again, I think in episode five, I think we're gonna see those uh, four all together. One, two, three, four. Yep, uh, four uh, team up together and maybe staff Kathleen. I think that those two just want to leave and they just think Joel and Ellie is part of Kathleen's group. So there's like a misunderstanding. That's what I think it is. So we'll, we'll see about that. But uh, as far as this, this, I thought this was really cool. Like we're going to see another, uh, so far, like how all these episodes are, they show like one side of like how people are acting. We saw uh, Bill and Frank. We saw Joel and Tess. We've seen Ellie, you know, his version of life. And now we're seeing uh, Kathleen's version of how life is for her and the people around her. So it's a, two, a lot of difference in this, but obviously they're all trying to survive. But it's definitely cool, and I can't wait to see more. Another thing I want to point out, too, is that one of the floors just collapsing to the ground where it, it seems to be hinting uh, the people who are affected by that fungus. So if this uh, ground or floor collapse, it seems like they're going to get out and invade this uh, gated uh, black society. So we'll see. That's I think that's going to be the... I think this is going to be the one thing I see that we'll see the bigger creatures or the people who are affected with this fungus are going to see a more involved full form of this creature so I think there's going to be bigger monsters basically is what I'm trying to say so that's why I think it's going to be popping out of that ground so that's just what I think um I'm giving this episode an 8 this was a great episode it was really fun to watch I really like this ca character develop between Joel and Ellie and I'm really curious to see who Henry is and, and how Kathleen is. She seems very savage at times when she needs to be maybe out of desperation but it was really cool and I'm more interested to see what she has to offer on this show so again I'm giving it an 8. 1 out of 10 I'm giving it an 8. This is good so that's my review. <laughs> Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Great Talk and Entertainment Official Channel. Subscribe, hit that notification button so you can always be updated with all my latest content. Thank you. And